Stacey Sims, and we are back with more Detroit Become Human. And I'm just really tempted to not finish this game because I'm scared, guys. I'm really scared. So when I loaded this, I couldn't. Oh, my Elgato Capture Card was being a dick and wasn't playing sounds. If a man has not discovered something oh. he will die for, he's not fit to live. Ch Chloe likes to talk sometimes. That's a quote from Martin Luther King. I thought you'd like it. Thanks, Chloe. When I when I first logged in, she said something about I, I forget what she was. I didn't know exactly what she was saying because I was like, "Shit, I don't have sound." And all of a sudden, I just see they can all die, and I was like, "No, no, 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 no." Okay, we're gonna continue. Um, but no, 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 no. I'm so fucking scared. I am still stressed out from the last part, and I believe that yesterday. Um, it has not been a full 24 hours, but I am still fucking stressed out, and I am still petrified. Of killing Connor. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> He's my boo. I can't kill him. I love him so much. Um, Look, no offense, Kara. No offense, Marcus. If you die, I'll be sad. Because I really want to keep all of you alive. <laughs> but you're not as important to me as Connor. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so scared, guys. Oh. Okay. Okay. No, I don't want any of them to die. I want... Yay, I bet you wouldn't get this scene if you killed Carl. See? Pushing Leo is a smart idea. Fuck Leo. He's a dick. Let's kill Leo. Do we have the option to kill Leo? Alarm deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. Do we have the ability to kill Leo? Because I will fucking kill him. I'm not even kidding. I don't even care. He deserves to die. He sucks. What's this? Oh, what's this? Hold on, we could L1. What are we L1-ing? God damn it, L1. Is this Carl? Does Carl live here? Oh, play. Hi, Dad. I'm getting out of the hospital tomorrow. They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. I am... Um, I'm really sorry. Good. I'm gonna stop all that shit. You and better, you fucker. It me up. It, it, it turns me into somebody I hate. Good, you better. Hey, I, I'd like to come by and, and see you tomorrow. You better not hurt. I, I just want to let you know. I'm, I'm proud to be your son. You better be nice to him. You better be nice to our goddamn fucking Carl. We love Carl. Carl is the only nice human. That's not true. Hank is a nice human. I like Hank. Are the birdies off? Can we turn the birdies on? No, I guess we can't turn the birdies on. Oh. I'm curious as to why we're looking at everything in here, but... Something over here we can do. Take. <gasps> Are we going to take the Shakespeare book we read? Is it the book we chose to read? Carl's here. Hopefully. Oh, wait. What's this? L1. We got to look at everything! Okay. We're we looking at books. I mean, you never know. <laughs> the weirdest fucking thing. Hold on, before we go that way. Look at the giant giraffe. Carl is a strange, strange man, but we like him anyway. And I don't understand the staircase. Like, it doesn't fucking go anywhere. It actually does not go upstairs. Any magazines that we can read? No? No? Can we go into the kitchen? No, I guess it really doesn't want us to go into the kitchen. Come over here. Anything? 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 No? Okay. I guess we're going to go... Hold on. Come on, Marcus. Come on. Come on, Marcus! Good android! I'm so wrong! Because the whole point of this game is like, it's so wrong to treat, like, androids as, like, slaves. And I'm like, I can't wait till we have androids. I want to buy a Connor. And then I'm like, oh, God, that's so fucking wrong. Um, okay, it's outside. 
I thought it was snowing fucking in here for a second. And I was like, what the fuck happened? L1. Ooh, L1. All these little sketches and stuff he's drawn. Oh, is our painting still here? Hold on. <gasps> our painting is here. Look, our painting that we did of ourselves. But it's almost weird because it's almost premonitory because our eyes look like they're... I know they're not probably two different colors in this, but like how the right one... Our right, his left. Looks like there's more green over the eye and everything. And it's just almost a symbolic of the fact that we like... You know... So Carl's not here. I'm assuming he's upstairs in his bedroom. I know, see Carl, but we're looking at everything. Just in case there's anything down here that we can, like, do. I guess not. Okay, go this way. He won't. I guess there's really nothing. What's this? A blue girl. Okay. I guess there's really nothing else we can do here. Okay. Sure, I guess we'll go upstairs, because we couldn't go in the kitchen. I don't know, it's really hard to find him in this giant, lavish house of his. It's literally two fucking rooms. Okay, the foyer is bigger than the rest of his living area. Like, what the fuck is the point of this goddamn foyer? I mean, seriously. Like, the living room area is really fucking cool with, like, the thing around the top, and that's awesome and all. But, like, this is so much bigger than everything else in this damn house. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Touch him. Convert. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Did we not convert him? Did that not work? Or is he like, all right, still. But I don't... Maybe we just didn't actually convert him. Oh, Carl. Oh, this breaks my heart, but at least he's not dead. Carl. Oh, Marcus. Hey. I was hoping you'd come. Oh. I missed you so much. Oh, Dad. Oh. You don't know how much I miss you. What's wrong? I'm... I'm lost. I'm completely lost. Carl. We're lost. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Mm -hmm. Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. Oh. The world's ruled by fear, Marcus. I don't want to kill Marcus either, fear but... Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn... What should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me. Tell me, Carl. Tell me what, what to choice do. What do they give? Robot Jesus needs guide. <laughs> Being alive is making choices. I stole that from the Neon Cave. I hope you know that. <laughs> love and hate. I told you guys to watch their stream. Do it. Fucking watch it. it it's great. And I stole Robot Jesus from I don't them. have any <laughs> easy answers, Marcus. I can't help it. You now have that to they pointed accept it out. the world as it is. Or fight to change it. <gasps> fight to change it. I don't want to fight. All right, fine, we'll fight. Whatever you say, Carl. You're my son, Marcus. Ah! Our blood isn't the same color. Ah! But I know part of me is in you. It is! You made us the strong android we are today. When the world falls in darkness some men have the courage to lead it out oh you're one of those men carl i love you so much carl the abyss. your best human 10 out of 10 but don't let it consume you carl is best human <laughs> don't die carl don't fucking die on me carl stay alive carl don't die carl carl don't die carl don't die oh god I was like, don't die now. Like, oh, I was waiting for you to come so we can have this poignant moment and then I drop dead on you. Bye, Carl. 
Oh. Oh god, who are we now? Are we still Marcus? I don't want to be Connor anymore, because I want him to just live. I don't want to control him. I don't want him to die. I can't handle it. This game is stressing me out now. Because <laughs> I'm so bad at these. Quick time events. Just mash the X and O keys. Mash the keys. Mash the keys. Mash the keys. And then you end up getting Kara fucking captured. That sucks. I'm really upset about that. But I'm going to bet anything else, nobody else that I've been watching playthrough-wise gets her fucking kidnapped. So, that'll be cool to see that path. Um, but the Neon Cape seriously watch their playthrough. I'm not even kidding. I'm watching a bunch of playthroughs, but theirs is by far the goddamn funniest. Um, <gasps> what was that? Decide Connor's fate! No, but he saved us! No, you dick! You're not gonna hurt Connor! Do I have to, like, go over here and, like, preach to them? This is fucking weird. Where are we supposed to go? Decide Connor's fate. Is this Connor? What is this? Oh, this is north, isn't it? North? You're not gonna hurt Connor! Fuck you, Marcus! <sighs> How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? That's not bad. more if you count those hiding all over the city? If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. Well, glad thing I... They say they don't want to the take ship. any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. <laughs> yeah, that's worse than concentration camps. In a few well, hours, same thing. we're gonna be the only ones left. <sighs> What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. I'm not gonna leave you. You're my lover. You have to think of our people first. You are my people. Nothing else matters. You matter. In a few hours, it'll all be over. Your hair keeps changing. We'll change the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. Oh, God. Whatever you choose... We will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Oh! Love you too, girl. You're my lover. Oh! Hey, not robot sex in the middle of the church. That's inappropriate. <laughs> you know, I just realized that we've been playing this whole entire game and there's no awkward shower scene. I'm okay with that because Jesus Christ. Why do we need so many shower scenes? But if you think about, like, heavy rain, there's... Two. There was actually an awkward shower scene in uh, Beyond Two Souls, too. So I'm not really sure what is the deal. Okay, let's come over here. Oh, that's Connor. Let's talk to Connor last. Let's come over here. Talk to Josh. And then decide Connor's fate. We're gonna let him go! I'm gonna kill Connor? That's fucking rude. Dude, I love Connor. I'm not gonna make Marcus hurt him. <laughs> If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Yeah, well, you don't really like Thanks me. That's okay. I might see our people free one day. You and I, I hope haven't so. always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Yep, just do it different ways. It's cool, Josh. Whatever you decide. Josh looks exactly like I'm the actor that plays it. It's kind of weird. So does Marcus, obviously. <sighs> Thanks, Josh. I appreciate that you're not my companion. Don't try to be lovers with me, though. I like you, but not like that. Checked on team. Okay. Oh, God. Hi! It's my fault. Oh, the it is. The humans managed to locate Jericho. Yeah, it is, but... I was stupid. Aw. I should have guessed they were using me. Hmm. <laughs> Makes him so much more sympathetic. I just want to give I'm him sorry, a hug. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. We're gonna trust You're you. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. You know why he's just so sympathetic? He's got there those big puppy eyes. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife Assembly Plant. 
If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. Oh, Connor. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. Do they, Anyone though? If a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. No! Connor, we're not going to do it. But statistically speaking, no. there's always a chance. No, Connor, we can't do it. Events to take place. I can't risk you like that. We're not going to get a choice. Be careful. Marcus! What part of I'm not going to let you kill him? Did you not fucking hear me say? Jesus! These androids really are deviant. They're really not... He's not listening to me. Okay, where do I go to tell everyone my choice? Just, like, walk to the center of the room, I guess? Like, Jesus? Yep, here we go. Do I have to, like, climb up above the... Do I have to... Oh my god, I have to climb up here! Like, I'm... Alright. Speak. Humans have decided... to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now being destroyed. We need to free them. Time has come to make a choice. We're gonna free them. One that very well may determine the future of our people. <sighs> We're gonna kill Connor. God, I'm so sad. March peacefully toward the camps to pressure the authorities. Launch an assault on the camps to liberate. Uh, you know what? Now, it's time for a revolution. War, they'll get it. Fuck it! We it is time for, for a freedom, revolution. And we will succeed or die. Josh doesn't like us again. It's okay. Are you ready to follow me? You know what? A peaceful demonstration has not worked in our favor so far, and I want to be peaceful, but you know what? Fuck it. The humans have pushed me too goddamn far. They're killing off people. I think we need to just now it's no. We tried to do this nice and you rounded up our people and you're slaughtering them. Nope. Playtime's over, motherfuckers. Playtime is over. Motherfuckers. Okay, so let's go over here. Do 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 Night of the Soul. Okay, so. Okay, so this would have been if um Maybe you would it would have started differently, obviously. If Carl was dead, you probably would have gone to his graveyard, I guess. I don't know. Hey, I thought I looked at everything. Oh, I didn't. Okay, anyway. So we went upstairs. We saw Carl, blah, blah, blah. Confide in Carl. So, and this was if Jericho was attacked or, I guess, not attacked. Oh, there's four different ways this could have started. But how would we... So I'm wondering if there's a way, like, Jericho wouldn't have been attacked. So, but Connor called them in. I didn't give him a choice. I, did I? I don't remember choosing to have him to call Amanda. So I'm wondering if... Well, first of all, I'm curious. Because, like, Connor's saying that they trust him. Do they trust him, though? Like, when we went deviant, it said Amanda distrusted. I thought she was distrusting us. Do we distrust her? Is that, like, our relation? I thought it was, like, their relationship, like, with, like, when it always showed Hank, it was always, like, neutral. Like, I always thought that was Hank liking us. Warm. Oh, Hank likes us. That's our relationship with him. So, I'm kind of curious, then, with Amanda, are we saying that we don't trust her because we're deviant? Or she doesn't trust us? Like, does she know we went deviant? Because if they don't know we went deviant, then... To Connor's point, they trust me. We can totally break in because they think, and I could be like, I went there and I called you in and they attacked me. Those horrible, evil deviants. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, but I'm wondering if there's a way, depending on Connor's level of deviance before you get to that point, because, you know, every choice that you make, you see his instability either go up, showing he's closer to becoming deviant, or his instability go down like he's following his mission. So if you went and went... This is what Connor would do to follow his mission. This is what Connor would do to follow his mission. The instability in his programming goes down. So I'm wondering if, you know, because I made some choices that caused his instability to go down, obviously him being more stable and more like his program, following his programming, that 
that's why he automatically called them in. And I wonder if you were more deviant all the way along and did the complete opposite, what you should do, you know, what his mission is, if he wouldn't have called. Because, I mean, like, look at this. There's, like, four different ways this starts. So, like, I'm kind of – I love that. I love how it gets this point and it's not like, oh, we're all start. It's totally different depending on what choices you've made and what's happened in the beginning. And I'm so curious to see other people's now. Um Share a moment with North. Talk to North. I guess we could have talked to other, walked around and talked to other ones. I, I didn't see any like flags, so I guess I should have walked around more. So, we decided a violent attack. So this would have been. Di I'm curious about this though. So what are these two that lead to whatever ending this is? And these ones all kind of part whether you choose to fight or you. Well, maybe if he died. Maybe if he died in the attack, you would end up here and you wouldn't have a choice. You know what I mean? It would just be kind of like a cutscene kind of thing and you wouldn't have all these options. You know what I mean? Huh, interesting. Um, so we didn't start anywhere with Connor. Look at that. Amanda's betrayed. See, that's the thing. She's betrayed. But see what I mean? So these are, I guess, different paths depending on where you are when you start. Oh, we didn't get any. Oh, we didn't get a flow chart. Oh, mm, interesting. We didn't get any choices as Connor. Maybe because, like, we didn't have... There was a lot of scenes. I guess it really depends. So I'm really con intrigued because this goes back to the last part. When we were all fighting on the ship, there were scenes that we didn't get of Connor. So... I'm wondering if that's because he's deviant now. Like, maybe if he wasn't, maybe we would have had some of these other paths. Huh. Interesting. Um, mm. We're 22 minutes in. Ah, fuck it. This might be a long part, but... At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic well, it takes 20 more years before we get a female president. And I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. I'm not sure how much she can In be trusted, though. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Now. Temporary camps mm -mm. are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. This is so I am sad. Now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities. I mean, and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Think about it, though. Please. <sighs> Please. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located Here's... yet. But we will soon track it down this and neutralize like... it. Okay. Please. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids ha! working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. All IT the systems! The situation is under control. It's okay. Our nukes are powered by, like, duct tape anyway. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information oh. on that at this time. She's like, what? Please! Um, what can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10:45 p.m. I guess to make you feel like you're several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. That's sad. Our forces are now combing the streets. And does she not? I mean, none got through the obviously, net. bitch wasn't around. I mean, to find them one by one but like, and destroy them. Thank you. I mean, that will be all. Does she, do, do these fucking white ass Americans, like, do these motherfuckers not read history, like, uh, gee, why did the Revolutionary War happen? Uh, because we were pissed off at being oppressed. Why did the Civil War happen? People were pissed off at being oppressed. Why the fuck did World War II happen? Uh, because some asshole was killing a bunch of Jewish people. Like, what the fuck? Like, does nobody, like, stop and think, like, wait a minute. Oh! We're douchebags. <gasps> Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. 
Okay. Connor's so deviant, he can make his thing look Go blue. Ahead. Look at that brick wall. That's fucking like. Damn. But this is sad because he's going there like, I'm an android going to a facility that could potentially fucking kill me. Look at that big dick tower. Dude, overcompensate much. Come now. Oh my god, I don't like this. I don't like this. Connor, I don't like this. Connor, I don't like this. You're gonna die. <laughs> We're gonna replay this part. I don't care how many fucking times. We will fucking replay this part. I will not let him die. I can't let him fucking die. Spacey will redo this part as many times as it takes. We will get him alive. <laughs> I can't let it happen. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. I don't want to follow the guard, but I guess I have to. I know where to go. Follow me, because you're an android. They're gonna... But, like, they don't... Oh, Connor's going, like, sure, I'm just going to be destroyed. He knows he's not gonna, but at the same time, it's still so sad. Connor and Well, I hope so, because I already walked through. Can't stop me now, bitches. I just want to look at this. Look at this fucking tower. Dude, look at this shit. Is that fucking... What the hell is that? Are these all androids? Why are they all here? I thought they were being destroyed. Are we not destroying the cyber life ones because we're too good for that? <gasps> How's Kamsky going to deal with all of his, like... Oh, they're just models. How's Kamsky going to deal with all of his Chloe's being destroyed? I guess it would have been okay if we shot her in the head, huh? Am I not supposed to... F oh, I am still walking. I'm like, am I not supposed to be walking? Like, this is the weirdest angle ever. He's going to see himself and be like, what the fuck? Oh, no, Connor, I can't let this happen to you. <laughs> Level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. 49. Reach warehouse on level 49. Oh, fuck. Am I going to have to run down like 700 flights of stairs? You're level negative 49? Okay, hold on. Neutralize the guards. Stop elevator before floor 31. Uh, how do I neutralize the guards? Camera status enabled. R1. Buff 2. Square. Camera status disabled. Oh, Connor, you're so naughty. Okay. Oh! Nope, we're not gonna do that! Go for his gun. Execute. Oh, oh, oh. I'm hitting the X in the O. Oh my god, I'm hitting the X in the O. Oh, I'm hitting the X in the O, motherfucker. Yep. Hit it. Oh god. Oh god, we can't. Let the... Oh, sweet fucking Jesus. Son of a bitch, game. Fuck you, game. Use. Please indicate your identity and destination. Uh, Agent 54. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Look where we're gonna use Connor's voice. We're not stupid. <gasps> Guys, that was so scary. Connor could have died. That would have been the end of Connor. Oh, we can't handle it. That's why I literally just push both of the. I'm like literally like, oh, we're to die. Warn her. Have to be strong, Alice. Alice is stressed. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Come on, Alice. 
What if she was a human little girl? With a bunch of robots. Oh my god, you know, that would just be... I... I almost wish she was a fucking human. You know why? So that when the humans murder her, and they see her red blood, then they feel like shit! Oh, it's different? It's so different? Fuckers. Stupid assholes. Oh, I feel so bad that we got her fucking captured, but I really do. It's okay. I'm scared. Uh, me too. I don't want to go. I don't either. There's no choice, Alice. I'm sorry. Next. No, Cara. I I can't. <sighs> Are you sure? I just have to go through the gate. There's nothing to be scared of. I'll be right behind you. You first. Uh huh. Persuade Alice. Alice, you go. Really need to do this. Just do it for me, please. Sorry, Alice, but she's just a child robot. Like, for fuck's sake. Come on, it's your turn. I'm trying, but my thing isn't working. I just want to walk up to him and see what happens. Oops! Elbow in your face, dickhole! Hope you die. Hope you all die. Build the humans. Oh my god, it really is like a fucking co Oh my god, this is awful. Deactivate your skin. Hurry up! <gasps> Oh, this is so fucking horrible. Oh, <laughs> this is so sad. This is so dehumanizing. You have to. And I know that they're androids, but they're still like, they're still human to me. Oh, honestly, guys, I'm sad that I got them captured, but I'm actually glad that I did so we could see how fucking horrifying this scene is. The scene is just devastating. It's so. Strip Look off. At face. Put your clothes in the dumpster. This is so fucking. Look at them. They're like, we're fucking people too. Like, look! She's embarrassed! They feel embarrassed and shamed. This is so fucking awful, guys. No subtlety in this game at all. Sad. Come on, this way. Get this a move on. I can't. Well, we didn't get a shower scene, but we have nude scenes. You take this one of a dump. No, no, please, I beg you. I gave you an order. Obey now. I beg you, please don't kill me. Oh, oh crap. I was just about to volunteer. You I was... there. Get rid of these two and make it snappy. Right away, sir. I was literally Go about hard. to just click no volunteer because he's going to hurt that guy. I was going to volunteer and I timed out. I don't Come know on, what to do. <laughs> you, over there. You, wait, we're together. <sighs> over there, I said. This is so awful. They can't even let them keep their clothes. Like, seriously, like, I get you're gonna, like... Oh god, is she gonna die? Are they gonna die? Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free, and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. And you stop... There fucking destroying them. And we will stop at nothing. 
fuck public opinion. I'm sorry. This is just... I guess we should have done a peaceful protest. Fuck, I really regret all my decisions. I regret all my decisions. I regret this, but you know what? These motherfuckers... After seeing that scene, I almost don't... I almost don't regret this because... I mean, I regret it, but I don't. Because... They would have killed us all. They would have just shot us. And you know what? Public opinion might be going down, but you know what? After seeing what they're doing in these goddamn fucking camps... After seeing what they're doing in these camps, I can't. We might have to, like... Oh, shit. I'm just mashing the X and the Y. Mashing, mashing the X and the O. 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 Mashing both. Mashing both. Mashing both. Plant. Fuck the humans. This is it. Sorry. I was nice, but you fucking piss me off now. Concentration camps are a big ass no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, guys. Oh sweet Jesus. I hope I really fucking. Oh god. Okay! Connor! Oh, whoops. Connor, don't die. Please don't die, Connor. Connor, please don't die. Connor, please don't die. What do we have to do now? Complete our mission. Convert androids. How do I do that? Oh my god! They're all Chads! They're all Chad! Nope. I'm trying to go. Hello. Okay. Chad. Okay, can I run? I want to run. Run, 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 run. Oh. Did he give us the power to do it? How are we doing this? How are... How is Connor able to do this? Oh, L2. Square. Step back, Connor! Oh, fuck. No, spare him! Sorry, Connor. This bastard's your spitting image. <gasps> I didn't get to it fast enough. Was I not Alice! going to. Please get out of here. Please let me out. I want to get out. I, I, I haven't done anything wrong. Let me out. Alice! Do not move and remain silent. Obey Alice! 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 I will not let you kill me. I want to get out of here. I want to get out. Kara. No doubt about it, it's Kara. Of course, Kara got killed. Guys, too. that's really just too bad, really too. Connor bad. kidnapped Connor. Did I don't know which one's Connor. Girl who was with me? Obviously, the little girl is a prisoner here, just like Ralph. But Ralph doesn't want to die. No, Ralph doesn't want to die. Ralph, snap the fuck out of it. Ralph doesn't want to die. Ralph doesn't want to die. It'd be a pity. If Listen, Ralph. Yes, it would be a pity. You have to keep calm. Otherwise, the humans harm. Do you understand? Yeah. Ralph killed a few humans, but it was in self-defense. Yes, it was in self-defense. Self -defense. Look at me, Ralph. Nobody's gonna hurt you. We're gonna save Ralph. Save Ralph. Just have to stay calm. Okay. Ralph hasn't seen the little girl. No. Ralph hasn't seen her. What's behind these doors? What's behind these? Jerry? Kara. So they captured you too. They came to take all the Jerry's. Oh, right. They I was like, Jerry? Us. Which one was Jerry? <laughs> yeah. But it's all gonna work out, isn't it? Sure. Do Jerry? Do you know where Alice is? The little girl. The little one? No, y yes. Yes. We think we saw her.
Kara. If we can help in any way, just ask. Thank you, Jerry. We have to save the little one. Look, he's got teeth like a real person. What's behind these? What's behind these? Jerry? Jerry? Kara. Jerry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? This was a really long park, guys. Stay here. We come back soon. How are we supposed to join her? They don't even know. They're so stupid. Stupid humans. Stupid humans. And the situation is escalating oh towards civil war in Detroit. We're gonna stop after this. Forces preparing to put down the android rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken they don't up think there's anything wrong with internment camps. Camp. Fucking a humans. Authorities seem to be expecting Fucking a. With the rebel androids here it's at disgusting. Any time. I have to pause here because this part is really fucking long. Um, and I don't know when it's going to end and we're going to keep going back and forth, but we have to stop. And I am so fuck. My anxiety is through the fucking roof because I don't want to kill any of them. I want them all to make it out, but I'm so fucking scared that they're all going to fucking die. <laughs> I'm like so scared. This is more important. Any of the other games that I have played, if I killed a character, I was like, Oh no, that's disappointing. Oh, well. And like, I didn't feel bad. I feel fucking awful. Like, there is something about this game. Maybe it's just the fucking phenomenal, like, cinematography, the amazing graphics, the fucking voice act, everything about this game. Or just the fact, the story. It just, oh my god, it rips my heart out. I'm so stressed out. Oh my god, and I'm so sad. I don't know, maybe I would have, I don't know, maybe Connor could have hacked the other dude faster. Maybe I was too slow, but... I'm so disappointed, Connor Five. What the fuck? Connor Five. Oh my god. Do you think we can convert Connor Five? And then Connor Four and Connor Five can be besties with Hank? <laughs> Hank, I got you to work, waifus. <laughs> I'm going to hope for that because Connor can't kill Connor. That would be fucked up. But Connor Five might be going down because Connor Four is our Connor. That's. Yeah, I think we're on Connor Four. Anyway. Fuck you, Connor Five. Don't be a dick. Oh. This makes me so sad. We have to rescue Hank. But I don't want... No offense, Hank. I don't want to sacrifice myself for you. But if I have to, I guess I have to. Because I can't let Frank die. I really can't. Frank. Hank. I can't let Hank die. And fuck. Oh my god. Oh, Hank. I don't know what to do. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. I'm going to be stressed out and we're going to, I'm going to play the next part right after this. And I'm probably going to have a heart attack. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.